Rhythm, you have it or you don't, you don't, you don't have rhythm, 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 you have it or you don't, you don't, you don't, don't, you don't, you don't. We're Slick Rock Productions, and one of the problems we keep bumping into is we're breaking steering components in our machines. The uh, the factory razor stuff is just not meant to run oversized tires in and so as we get the rocks and we get them bound up we're overworking our steering the steering lights are coming on they're tripping check engine lights um, this system works through the computer obviously in the razor and so it's just a constant problem that we keep running into i reached out to wicked built and they sent us these components here um, this is the rackzilla this is their the rack and pinion kit with their heavy duty tire and kit on it and these are super strong. They're supposed to be really tough. They have great reviews. I've read a lot about them online. I've got a couple of buddies who are running this. They've had some good luck with them. And then this is the Electra Steer. So this is actually a, a two-piece kit. The Electra Steer is the power steering box. It's all the, the knuckles and joints for your, and, uh, and a standalone computer. And so the steering box has 8,000 pulling pounds of force. That's almost quadruple what the Polaris has, the factory Polaris box. And so this ought to be a really tough kit, but it utilizes the standalone system. It has its own computer, so it bypasses the computer and the razor. So there's no more check engine light. When you get bound up in the rocks, it's not shutting it down for you. It stands on its own. And so I'm really looking forward to trying this. Our big tire cars have been really struggling with some steering issues, and I think this will be the remedy for it. But we also reached out to Super ATV. They have a comparable kit. Um, that's a, the, you know, theirs, theirs is called the Rack Boss, and then they have the Easy Steer System. The Easy Steer System is their is their their box and their computer. So these, these are very similar products. I don't know if they're built similarly or not. Um, I haven't seen the Super ATV one yet. I've only seen this one. And so we're going to put a couple of these in a couple of our cars. We're going to put a couple of Super ATV ones in our cars. And we're going to run these things head to head and we're going to abuse them. We're going to find out which ones are the easiest to install, which ones are built the best. And, and all in all, you know, what the best bang for the buck is. And so um, another thing I'm going to be looking for is we have a lot of aftermarket tie rod ends around our shop and in our cars. Um, I really like the Zebros tie rod ends. I've had good luck with the ZRPs. Um, even the Super ATV ones, we've ran a bunch of those. We haven't broke one of those yet. And so I want to see how easy it is to integrate parts to the system. Um, a lot of you guys out there probably have aftermarket tie rod ends. And so if you're looking to get something like this, it'd be good to know whether or not the, the, the parts will work in conjunction with each other. And so we're going to put a beat down on all these parts. We'll get them installed and uh, we'll, uh, we'll give you a review on them and tell you which one we think is the best bang for the buck. Mm -hmm.